welcome. If you are new here, my name is May, also known as Miss Leva here on YouTube. And today we have a very long awaited for Celine unboxing. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been teasing you guys so, so much in regards to this bag. I've put polls about it. I've shared my thoughts and my opinions on this bag. And this all started from a Instagrammer that I actually follow that posted that most likely the Celine luggage tote line is bound to be discontinued at some point. If you know a little bit of the history of Celine, Phoebe Philo, which was their creative director a few years ago, left the fashion house and now they have a new creative director, which has brought out very nice, simple silhouettes kind of continuing that classic look for the Celine line. However, there are certain pieces from the fashion house that I feel have always been icons for the Celine fashion house. And for that reason, I definitely don't want to miss out on the opportunity of possibly adding some of these pieces that I can still go ahead into the boutiques and purchase directly from them. So when this person posted this up on their Instagram, I did ask a few sales associates from different Celine stores if this was the case. However, I wasn't able to get a full concrete answer. So that made me worry even that much more because I ultimately thought, oh my God, they can probably discontinue these at any point in time. A little bit of a backstory, the Celine luggage tote bag in the micro was actually my holy grail bag. This bag caught my attention from the first moment that I saw it. I would love seeing it pictured. I would love seeing it styled. I just knew that this was a bag that I wanted to add into my collection. And my husband actually surprised me on my 30th birthday and we flew into Paris before making it to our final destination. And we stopped into the Celine boutique and I was able to add the Celine luggage tote into my handbag collection. It was such an amazing gift. It was such an amazing experience in the boutique and one that I will never forget. And I personally use that bag so, so much. I would take it into the office at that point. We were still going into the office on a regular basis. I would use it even for the weekends just because I used to carry so much more in my handbags. However, as I transitioned into working from home, I stopped carrying as many things in my handbags. You guys will notice most of my handbags now are pretty small. I love a good crossbody option as well as a top handle option also. However, deciding that I wanted to add the Nano into my collection was only half of the battle. Now we got into the whole debate of what color should I add. So we had the option of black, dune coal yes coal is like they're very beautiful grayish blue color they also have this like minty green at the moment a coral color an olive green and then i think their famous sari color which is a very unique tone of brown i gotta say i had a really hard time while i was in the boutique deciding whether or not this would be a color that i would be comfortable with and that would be easy for me to match I know it's a total neutral, but for some reason I felt it more on the cooler side of the tan spectrum. And for me, I just like warmer tones. So I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the bag that I opted for. And I also got a cute little accessory to add to it. So here we have the Celine Luggage Nano. We absolutely know that that is the style of handbag that I opted for. I definitely want to know what you guys think I chose for the color. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I was debating between the olive green, the coal, and the black. I just felt like those three would be the easiest ones to incorporate into my current style. So I'll give you a minute for you guys to head down to the comment section and let me know what you think is in this little bag. All right, now that you've casted your votes, let's go ahead and share what I opted for. And it is in the color <laughs> black. Now, if you aren't new around here, you definitely know why I'm laughing. And that is because I myself am still surprised that I opted for the color black. If you are new around here, hi, my name is May and I barely buy black bags. However, I just felt like this silhouette in black was so stunning and so classic. I opted for the grained leather option. I just feel like since this is gonna be more of a casual bag, but at the same time, I can totally dress her up. We'll get into that in a minute. 
For the casual aspect of it, I just really felt more comfortable with the grained option. I think it's gonna be easy for me to hold it, whether it's top handle or whether I throw it over my shoulder or whether I throw it on crossbody. I know that I'm gonna feel more comfortable wearing her as the grain leather option than babying her if I would have gone the smooth leather route. I wanted to add this clip that I took over in the boutique of the smooth leather option. I have to say she is absolutely stunning. Just personally for me, I knew I would have babied the bag way too much. So really quick, I want to bring her up close and personal so you guys can see her. As I said, it is in that beautiful grained leather. She does have the aged silver hardware. It's not really a shiny silver that it offers. And then she just has that beautiful little robot face. I feel like you can totally see the robot face a lot more on the smaller one than you could on the larger one. I will get into my thoughts in regards to the crossbody strap because I feel like that is the biggest thing that people are concerned about in regards to this bag. It is a non-adjustable leather strap. It is on the thinner side as well. So I like that because I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to dress her up if I wanted to. I feel like a chunkier strap would be a nice option if I wanted to take her more towards the casual route. Now I will be sharing with you clips on how this strap looks on me. I personally don't feel like it looks too horrible when I do wear it crossbody. It hits me a little bit lower than I personally like to carry my crossbody bags, but it's not a bad option. Now, when I do just put her over my shoulder, that's where I feel like it's a little bit too long for my liking. I definitely won't feel comfortable wearing her over the shoulder at that length. So I have decided that I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the strap. I'm gonna take it to my local cobbler here. So I'll make sure to either do like a vlog or a dedicated video in regards to that and share with you what I think. I absolutely know that this is going to be a forever piece in my collection. So I'm not worried about shortening the strap and then having to sell her later on. And if for whatever reason I do decide to do that at some point or another, I feel like that won't really be a problem because as I mentioned, all of the videos that I saw while I was doing my research mentioned that a ton of people just disliked the fact that the strap was so long. All right, so now that we got the color choice out of the way, I definitely wanted to add a little bit of my personality into the bag. All right, so we did do a change of angle because I wanted to make sure that she was still in shot while I share with you the two pieces that I picked up in order Order to add that particular touch for my specific style so as you guys know I am a huge fan of twillies wrappies bandos whatever it is that we choose to call them and I feel like they are just such a unique piece to add to your personal style whether it's to place on handbags whether it's to wear on your wrist whether it's to wear as a neck scarf I just feel like they have so much versatility now I knew I wanted to add something with a little bit of color to give this particular bag some character however I wanted them to be be different prints so I went ahead and ordered two different twillies from Silk Philosophy they are actually a small business that I found through Instagram this video is not sponsored by them whatsoever I just honestly really loved the brand I actually ordered a twilly from them or a silk bracelet as they like to call it back in the summer they had this beautiful color that I knew I would be able to incorporate into my looks especially for the summertime so I added that one and I was so surprised by the quality and the presentation of their pieces that I knew as I was buying this one in the boutique that as soon as I got back home, I wanted to go ahead and get two more twillies in order to add for the bag. So really quick, I wanted to share with you the two pieces that I picked up as well as putting them on here with you guys so we can all see the final look for this new cutie. Now I did want to let you guys know that I reached out to them and asked if they would be kind enough to offer some sort of discount code. Their prices are already so affordable and so great, especially for the quality of the piece that you're getting. But they did offer me a 20% discount code to share with you guys. I'll make sure to link that up on the screen. It is May 20 and down in the description box down below. I'm not being paid by whether you guys order anything or not. I just really honestly feel like they are such a nice business and the owner behind the business is so sweet that I personally wanted to go ahead and share them with you guys in order for them to gain a little bit more recognition. All right, so these are the two colors that I opted to get. As I mentioned, I wanted to add a little bit of pop of color and I have been super into the Bottega Green lately. 
I just am not bold enough to add a full handbag in that color. So when I saw that she had these available on her website, I knew right away that I wanted to opt for something within the same color palette, but at the same time, switch it up with the prints. I also wanted to mention that inside of the box is this little card, which basically lets you know the different ways that you can style the silk bracelets. So not only can you use them as obviously bracelets, but you can also use them for your handbags. You can also use them as a little neck scarf and so many different ways as well. Aside from the bracelets, you also do get these rings, which do come in all three hardware tones. So you have a silver, a rose gold, and there's also a gold option. And these in particular are for you to use when you're styling them, whether you're putting them on your wrist or whether you're using them as a little neck piece. These here give you the ability to style them and for them to stay in place a lot better. So here we have the two that I opted for. I really like the color combination and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place them on the handle of the Celine Nano and share with you guys how the finished look turned out. look and I want your opinions I want you to let me know what you think Do you agree with the color choice that I opted for I really feel like the green just adds that pop that this bag needs and I'm really happy that Silk Philosophy actually had two different styles however within the same color palette as I originally wanted I'll make sure to link her website down below if you are interested or if you are in the market to add maybe a little twilly or a bandeau to one of your handbags or just to add as a little detail to finish off a look, then make sure to check her out. I am so happy with the new addition to my little growing family. So this is how I will be carrying mine for the next couple of months. I'm so excited to start using her, to start building outfits around her. I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts down below. Let me know if you have the Celine Luggage Nano, what you think about it and how you like it. Also, let me know if you go ahead and check out Silk Philosophy to add any of these cute little silk bracelets. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are a returning viewer and are not yet subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. As always, thank you guys so, so much for taking some time out of your day to watch today. And I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye, everyone.